Such a beautiful day today. Everybody's getting packed up. Well, almost everybody. Some have already left. But most of the gang are getting back on the road. It's just going to be myself along with Terry and Scott on the property and I believe Rady. It's always sad when people have to go, but I get it. People want to travel, and I do plan on getting back on the road, but I still have a few more things that I have to get done before I can. I do have to get the deed switched over, because after we split up the property, um, the deed is different, so we have to go file for that, and I have to get this in my name. Right, Moo Moo? <laughs> Little yoga stretch today. Oh. Bye, Jen. I'm gonna make my bed or wash my bed. There goes one. Is there another place close to Felipe? Bye. Bye, bye. What are you doing, Jimmy? <laughs> bye, Chuck. Bye, Aja. I'm back in the scene. <laughs> bye, Dory. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you. One Am I in your chair? No. No. Okay. No, no, I got my chair. Okay. Guys, we'll see you soon. Okay, I'll go pick up my garbage and head the hell out of here. <laughs> see ya. There goes Donnie. And there goes Dory. Every day is a Saturday. <laughs> There goes Jimmy. Bye. We'll see you down the road. When thoughts get thrown around, but we keep going on believing. Bye. There goes Chuck. <laughs> Oh, the land is so clear. So Bex is going to stay here as well with us for now. And Jennifer and Jason are leaving today too sometime. I think they're still packing up. We've got Russ that's staying here. Of course, Terry and Scott, myself, and Rady are going to be here. So there's still a few people here. The pump that I made in an earlier video, I hooked to the water line. This blue hose was leaking, so I cut it where it was leaking, and I used this hose to go into the pump, and that way it's into the water line. It works well. Put on the water source. The pressure is pretty good, so I can water the garden. Just turn that on. Then the hose is ready. Definitely makes it easier to water the garden beds. <laughs> Yay, water! But this time it's not about escaping. We don't feel like it. We don't feel like it. Cause we don't feel We already had the land surveyed and he did that yesterday. Now we need to put a driveway in so we have to clear out a few trees. And unfortunately some of them are pretty big. So that's what we're doing now. Is trying to get stuff out of the way for the main drive that's gonna go in between the properties. Come here, over here. I don't know if she knows where to go. Over here, over here, go. Jimbo.
socks too. Yeah. Poked me. That's when I was cutting that one earlier. And then we'll lay down. Okay, so good. I don't think we'll have to do anything with this one. Possibly just the Bring one branch here that's sticking out. Uh oh. Aja? Uh, I need your battery. Dead? Yeah. Well, they overheat too. Oh. So you just sometimes have to switch batteries. That's what I used to do. Watch out. Okay. Good job, Moo Moos. Not okay, a good idea to be out in shorts. <laughs> this is the wrong kind of work for shorts. Oh, dragging stuff? Probably. Any, any of it, okay, even with the saw. Good. Yeah. working on was the biggest cluster of trees so it's the hardest the others weren't as difficult as this because there's multiple trees here so we're trying to clean it up the best we can we did call a guy that's gonna make the driveway and I believe we haven't decided yet whether we want him to rip out the stumps or if we're gonna cut the trees down and grind it but anyways I guess we'll decide that when he comes and we talk to him more about it Ugh. We used electric chainsaws, we had multiple batteries, and we've gotten it done. We just have to get rid of some of the debris, like that big branch right there. And there's a few small things we have to clear out. And then we'll be done. I'm still not sure about what we're going to do about that big tree stump there. And this one here, we're either going to pull them out or either cut them down to the ground. Since we took the vegetation out of here and there's been a lot of foot traffic through here, this has become like a dust ball. 
So I just had to take some water and spray it down. It really did help. I'm going to put posts in. So I'm getting ready to dig the holes for that. The garden is starting to fill up. I added in a hydrangea. It wasn't doing good in the other spot under the juniper, so I moved it over here, Terry suggested, under the pine tree, and it's doing much better. The lilies are doing well here under the juniper, so I left them. Got a gazing ball. These are the posts that I'm going to add in to this sector. So I just got to dig the holes. What is that called? A lenticular cloud. And what does that mean? It's just a type of cloud. There's lots of types of clouds. Cirrus clouds. Okay. Lenticular, like, That's just a type. Pretty cool. Kind of looks like a, almost like it's swirling a little. Gonna wait till that dries up a little bit then I'll tap it down I wanted more natural fencing so I could use the wood off the land Bex is digging the next hole she's so nice to help me it's very windy today so yeah I'll see how much this settles and then I might add more dirt to it and wet that down it should be good we'll see the winds are going to be 30 miles an hour today with um, 55 gusts, so if it doesn't blow down in that, I think this is the strongest the winds have been since I've been here. Hard ground, hard ground. limestone about a foot down and that limestone you can see all in here all these white rocks these are all limestone and they represent what was once a million many millions of years ago a shallow vibrant sea and now we have to break through that limestone Beck started on the third hole the first two are in the ground's still wet, so I'm not going to move them at all because I don't want to disturb the ground. I want to let it harden, and then I'll check them tomorrow and see how they are. If I need to add any more sand and dirt. I think it looks good, though. Definitely like the natural look. And I'm going to put a bar that goes across, but it'll be one of these as well. I'm just going to make it all natural looking. We're just breaking through all the ocean critters right now. Uh-huh, more of oh, this. More of it. This is ocean. This was a vibrant sea full of little critters. <laughs> oh, there's some big rocks. I 
measured them out and they are eight feet apart. We keep on adding water as we fill the hole up. That way the dirt gets harder. Then we mash it down. When she adds more in, I'm gonna mash it down in there. Yeah, just take my foot and mash it down. Nice. This one is a bit jagged, so I'm going to take the chainsaw and cut off a piece of that. So we've been cutting a lot, so I've had to tighten up the chainsaw, which is pretty easy. You just loosen up these nuts here, and then there's a screw here, and that will tighten up the chain. So, see? Now it's good to go. I'll tighten it just a little bit more. Here we go. Then you tighten the nuts back up, so that's pretty easy. in on this section. I think it looks good. Just need the cross beams. So here's one eight foot sector done. I was just gonna put two poles across but I kind of like this kind of woven look. I'm gonna take um, rope and tie it all together. The natural looking rope. I think that'll look good. I like it. Having a few more holes dug, Scotty is digging them for me. Hopefully you end up some dirt after all these rocks. I know, right? Back in the hole. We can landscape with them. Yeah. I've just been putting them back in the hole for more stability. I do plan on getting a container and it is gonna go in this sector here. I believe a 40 foot container. That way it'll give some wind block because the wind does come from this direction mainly. So Terry made dinner for the rest of us that were left over. Oh no, we got that over there. Ow! Dang it, tree lamb. She hit her head. <laughs> Looks yummy. So we have salad. Is that mashed potatoes? Ribs, green beans, and what's this here? Oh I got I brought plates. Kiabasa. Oh, Basa. Forgot about that. You part. see the green beans. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I, Here's the guys. I don't even know where this is supposed to go. Oh, this was for there. I'm so overwhelmed. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that plate. Yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy. In my tummy. We got a straggler coming in late. I have a goddamn bear belt. I'm a straggler. Went and did laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. You're cleaning the plates for us. Well, I think the property's coming along quite nicely. I have a lot of plans. Like I said, I have a shipping container coming soon, so we have to level out. I also have um, a truck of gravel, 10 yards, coming in. I'm going to put that as the base for the shipping container so I can get everything leveled out. There's a lot of plans. I'm not going to get everything done, but I do want to get that done before I hit the road because I do miss my friends and I'll see if I can get caught up to them. Not sure if I can because I know some people are headed home so maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there.
Good night. See you later.